I'm so jealous that the one guy I was watching, he his shit started. He's not stuck there on this fucking loading screen. But yeah, like every other person I look at, their shit's all fucking broke. I don't understand how some of these people have their stream fucking working. My shit's just totally fucked. This game is just completely fucked. Doesn't fucking work. Won't fucking load. Fucked. Just totally fucked. Game is just fucked. Fucked up. Why don't they have anything pinned about how they're going to fix this shit? The fuck? It's out now. Yeah. Okay. News. When does it get fucking fixed? <laughs> Came out in January? Holy shit. No, it came out on March 11th. It was advertised in January. Okay. Still a month. Like, you'd think it would be fucking working. 
I guess it's only been a week and a half. Maybe maybe it's just broke for a while. I don't know. Shit. Okay, alt F4. Oh, I guess I'll waste my day just fucking remaking my character or whatever and see if I can get it to fucking work again. Play. I don't know. Piece of shit game. No, the audio is not working. What the fuck? So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. Yeah. As you can see, it looks like yeah. everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better skip, off staying home. Saw this, this is cool. But there's no way my journey ends For here. Fuck's sake. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kind of sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat-down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean, when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd! Turn it off, please. part's bugged up too it's all fucked up like uh you have to like press the back button if you slide past accept and you go to current persona it will uh it'll fuck up just gonna make that same fucking character again Stupid ass game.
the fuck?
Uh, hopefully it doesn't break again, because it's such a pain in the nuts ass doing that. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. I started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I chose to make money by going to Hollywood, and I made a lot. Probably more than anyone else here has wrestling in the minor leagues. I'll choose to ignore that for now. So why are you here then? I want to be bigger than The Rock. He was a WWE champion and then became one of the biggest movie stars in the world. I'm going to do the same thing, but better, since I already have the entertainment experience. So you're here to be bigger than The Rock? Or because all your acting gigs dried up? I'm also here to beat up nobodies, like you. We'll see about that. Hey, 
Who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. Uh, bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was too busy carving out a successful career in Hollywood. So you're some kind of actor slash reality TV star? Man, you guys are all the same. You come in our sport thinking it's gonna be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to LA with a broken face. Maybe you can play a, an ER patient or something. I'll be the first one to admit, I have a lot to learn, but I'm not going to be intimidated by someone just because they have more experience than I do. You can do or say whatever you want, but I won't give up. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll find out about that soon enough. Good luck, rookie. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. What do you like? My movies? The reality TV? My live streams? <laughs> no. Actually, that old commercial you did where you're stuck on a Ferris wheel and you really have to go number two? <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I'm actually crossing over from another line of work, too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby, but I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Even if Lawler helped get your foot in the door, you wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. Sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign something for me before you leave today? Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, then you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. See you out there, Chase. I did not want to pick that option. I have no fucking clue why I picked that option. I didn't I didn't press to do that. Okay, Alt F4. Alright, fuck that. Let's see if I can do it over. I think it just saved though. I think I actually have to like delete this character, remake another one, so it doesn't fuck up like that. Cock sucker. God damn it. Alright, yeah, it's looking a little scary. Yeah. What the fuck? Don't tell me it already fucking moved out that character. God damn, it has him set as fucking green too already. Supposed to go red, then green. That was the strategy. That was the plan. That's what I did last night. I wanted to just copy last night. I don't want to make a new character. I just want to... Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck's sake. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you... Fuck that 
that shit. Just gotta remake them. God damn it. God damn it. Fuck. I wish this game would just work instead of like being broken. It just. It'd be so nice if they had play tested. Skip. Skip this shit. Well, I can skip this. So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Fuck. Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This, game's so broke. this is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat-down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Uh, anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean, when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd. Turn it off, please.
You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks.
Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. Started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I chose to make money by going to Hollywood. And I made a lot. Probably more than anyone else here has wrestling in the minor leagues. I'll choose to ignore that for now. So why are you here then? I want to be bigger than The Rock. He was a WWE champion and then became one of the biggest movie stars in the world. I'm going to do the same thing, but better, since I already have the entertainment experience. So you're here to be bigger than The Rock? Or because all your acting gigs dried up? I'm also here to beat up nobodies, like you. We'll see about that. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. That, that bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was too busy carving out a successful career in Hollywood. So you're some kind of actor slash reality TV star? Man, you guys are all the same. You come in our sport thinking it's gonna be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to LA with a broken face. Maybe you can play a, an ER patient or something. I'll be the first one to admit, I have a lot to learn but I'm not going to be intimidated by someone just because they have more experience than I do. You can do or say whatever you want, but I won't give up. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll find out about that soon enough. Good luck, rookie. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. What do you like? My movies? The reality TV? My live streams? <laughs> no. Actually, that old commercial you did where you're stuck on a Ferris wheel and you really have to go number two? <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I'm actually crossing over from another line of work, too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. My pirate is amazing. He found he out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually balance. helped me get a Find shot here. Not that pirate. I couldn't have made it on my own. Even if Lawler helped get your foot in the door, you wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. Sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign something for me before you leave today? Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, then you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. See you out there, Chase.
I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GM from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy? Since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Shawn Michaels. Uh, choose from the guy standing next to you. I'm not an option. Look, I could beat one of these guys, but that would be expected. I want to do the unexpected in WWE, like defeating a two-time Hall of Famer on my first day here. I know that might rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I want to make an impact, and I want to do it right now. Uh, Hunter, you seeing this? Yeah, the only problem with the game is that this is your chance to say you're kidding. Time. I'm not. I actually did all this last night. It's cool. But then that I'll do it, broke. Sean. Like I can't load it. That's really not it's necessary. Like Look, if I was standing there in his shoes 30 years ago, I might have yeah, said I the like exact the same thing. I hope they fix it. I'm not the HBK I used to be, I also but one thing hasn't history. changed. I don't lie down for anybody. And there's like really good. Let's see what you got, too. kid. And I love. Let's go, Sean. Sean. Like Teach him so why you're the showstopper. Authentic in the game. You know what I mean? Sorry, like just, I was a big fan. They don't. Old habit. They don't try to soup it up to be really crazy wild. You know, it's. it's I, I don't know. I find that it's really good writing.
that's gotta be my favorite. Just pick him up, kick him in the face. That's the best finisher. I don't. I haven't seen all the finishers in this game. But that. I don't know what. What would you do better than that? Pick him up, kick him in the face. I mean, I don't know. That just seems like the best move to me. Pick him up, drop right on your fucking foot. I don't know. I do feel bad for, you know, attacking Shawn Michaels when he wasn't ready to fight, right? But at the same time, like, that's how the game is. I didn't get any points for that. Attribute upgrades. I had four points before the fight, I have four points after the fight. No, no points for that fight. I'll hand it to you. Took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring. I said I was going to make an impact. It was a risk and also a bit of a shortcut. From my experience, those two things don't always work out. But this one did, didn't it? I guess so, since Triple H just texted me that he saw our match on his live feed. He said he was impressed and he'd be keeping an eye on you. Well, there you go. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, except for my sore back. Wasn't exactly planning on competing today. But now I'm paying the price. Just keep in mind this is one match. You still have a lot to prove before you're ready for WWE. What the hell was that? What do you mean? I mean calling out Shawn Michaels. I think I'm the top prospect no. now. Just because you caught an old timer off guard yeah, doesn't make so. you the top anything. That title still belongs to me, and everyone here knows it. That's not what Triple H posted on social media. Wait, what did he say? Man, it sure is easy to get in your head. I'll keep that in mind. They really make you hate that Paragon guy, but then they let you beat him in Japan, where he was a famous wrestler, so it was like very rewarding in the writing. I know it's a big spoiler for the ex next few minutes, but uh, I don't know. I, re I really was ready to just keep playing because I got a contract with Raw, which is what I wanted, which is what I'm going to go for again this time. I'm just really upset that it fucking saved me. Last time I did this fight, I ended up punching the chick in the face. I ended the fight right away. It wouldn't. It wouldn't let me uh, punch the chick when she got in the ring to stop the the pin. But I, I kind of like finagled my way around and position, threw a punch, and she was right there. It was awesome. But then it like ended it. So I'm not sure if you just if that happens if it just stops. Oh. Come on, Y button. Come on, Y button. Anytime now. Actually, know how to get outside. One. Let me outside the ring. Come on. Uh. 
Striker. My whole idea with this guy is just to make him uh, really powerful at striking. Put all the points in his striking. I plan on doing the same thing. Just wrecking people when they come into the ring after uh, getting with the rock. Okay, so that, I actually don't really like the combat too much in this game because uh, positions doesn't seem to matter a whole lot. But right there, I was able to dodge an attack without pressing the Y button. Which to me is like a big deal. Like, I don't, I don't like that everything's based off the Y button. It's good to know that there's some attacks that you can just dodge physically. Like, that seems to be like... Okay, so that guy's stunned. Now it makes me play her. I've got to control her. Last night I went to the bathroom. And I was like, oh good, it's the other guy's turn. I can take a break. But no, yeah, if you get tagged, the AI doesn't play. You're stuck playing that, that AI. Kick him in his face. Unless he counters it. Moves. He didn't counter. Bam. I could have done it again. That's awesome. Oh, I forgot. I gotta I gotta do something. See I'm, I'm pressing the button to punch her and it won't let me. Okay, he's gonna get up. I think he's gonna counter it because it'll be the second time I did it, like, really quick. Oh no. I guess he's not gonna counter it. Okay, go around the top side. Now, normally, if you got a partner match, you just, uh, you have to punch her out. But, like, right now, well, let me punch her. So, I actually haven't worked out a solution for this. I think last time I just got disqualified. Oh, the blood's on! Awesome! Yeah, I messed up his fucking head. Oh, he's got a tag. Okay, well, I know how this works. I just... I tag, too. Get out of the fucking corner, bitch. Oh, now she's stunned. Yeah. Okay, there it is. That's how I do it. I'm gonna try the pin. I didn't do a finisher. One. Maybe we'll get it. Two. Three. Yeah, he's bleeding. Excellent. I I gotta say I'm really happy with the blood too. I I thought the blood would look really stupid. I had like a really low expectation for blood, but that was pretty awesome. Yeah, your wrestler would be a skanky girl. I have no doubt. I think you would. <laughs> I, I believe you. 100%. Alright, I got a point. And that means I get to boost my, my punch. I had this up to six last night. And when I would walk into a ring, I could punch someone like three times and they'd just be like, fucked on stamina. I'm really upset that I saved fucked up.
Hell yeah. All right, I'm gonna get one point for this match. Uh, before I do the match, I gotta check my DoorDash. to uh, play wrestling games on a full stomach. Yeah, so I'm so upset. I mean, I played until like 5 a.m. And then at 5 a.m., that's when it happened. I had gone with the, uh, the bad guy uh, routine on accident, which I copied here where you, you say, like, you just don't care whose toes you step on or whatever, and then you challenge Shawn Michaels and you beat him. And uh, that's what I did last night. But then, after I got to Raw, I played the good guy that, like, I want to react to things the way I would react, and I tend to be more of a good guy in person, you know? I mean, I think if you can, if you can take a shortcut, get up there, and it's, like, a respectable way to do it, like beating Shawn Michaels, hell yeah, do it, you know? So, if he'll fight, you fight him. But, uh, yeah, I kind of thought, like, that would have worked out better, but it, it, it made me, like, a negative. It made me the, the antagonist guy or the, the bad guy. But then one of the chicks likes the bad guy, so she promoted me for a match, or she, like, said I should do this match for her, and I did it, and I won. And then someone said that someone was picking on somebody in the locker room, so I went and beat his ass. And then it gave me the positive... The, like the good guy thing and then uh, and then and then and then you know like but basically when I got the good guy part of it then it kind of like broke because that chick who liked the bad guy came and gave me a quest and I think it didn't I think that's not supposed to happen I think like the Teresa or whatever her name is she, I think if you have the bad guy the red laughing symbol characteristic that then you're not supposed to get the good guy quest and if you're the good guy quest you're not supposed to get the bad guy quest and I think the bad guy is like you you get a quest to like fight Andre the Giant from back in the day from her and uh, when I accepted that's when it closed and I was like well okay you know no big deal I restarted and then it just started loading forever and so, like, some people online are saying that it just takes, like, a really long time to load. But one guy said he waited 25 minutes and that shit didn't happen. So, I think maybe it's just, like, it could just be the, in the array. This is what I think it is. I think in the array of your save files, when it goes to load, it just picks the wrong numbers off by one error. Because those are the most common things. So, this is the second save slot. So, I'm hoping I can just play it through like I was going to. And I'm hoping it's just like, you know, I mean, I know that's, that's silly to think, right? Like, of all the things that it could possibly be, but because it affects some people and it doesn't affect other people, and everybody's kind of had it once, I kind of think maybe, you know, maybe, maybe that's it. We'll find out. Maybe I'll break it in exactly the same way, and I'll report back, and I'll be like, hey, this is the quest line you guys need to fix. It's causing people's shit to break. But it might be like the Sea of Thieves thing. Like, some people don't believe me that it takes 400 shots to kill a fucking Duchess or whatever, but I shot her in the face on my stream 140 times. Some other dude was shooting her the whole time. And then I used four kegs. And just, it was like, it was like, the following contest is scheduled for one I mean, fall, fair, making his way to the ring times. from New York, weighing in four. at 156 pounds. So if you have to reload ten times, it's just a really, really long slow fight. Yeah, I don't think it should be that much. To me, in see if you it should be that much. See if the easy Oh, you saw the one in the morning? My voice is way quieter than my mic. 
My voice? My mic is playing. Oh, see if he's. And his opponent from East London. Oh, yeah. Weighing in. I don't know. 100, like, 90 pounds. I don't know which battle you saw. Sometimes I fight really well in that game. I killed two people and I started to be able to ship out, but my, my dude was like. He was he looked like a really good player. He was like a pirate legend and all that shit. And his uh, he had unlocked his own and showed me it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I definitely could have. Always could have. I could have killed that. I was kind of fucking around a little bit. No, I shouldn't have. Been. I was like, I could have killed that, that pirate shit if I would just focused on that instead of the repairs. The other person attempted to repair it, but I thought that he was a better shot than I was. But then he started screaming, so that didn't work. Well, I'm gonna just try to like really kid this guy. It's not gonna work. It's not slow. This is an NXT match. I actually don't know anything about this. So it's kind of cool to have this game just because I'm getting caught up on all the wrestling stuff. Like this guy I'm beating up, I don't even know who Danny Burch is. I might know him from this video game, that's about it. What made me get this game is uh, we're playing Humans Fall Flat, and someone had made a wrestling ring. And I mean, like in Humans Flat, you know, you climb up the wall, you climb up through the center, and I actually got on the roof of the building. It was really cool. But Knives and I, I mean, we were in there and they're playing the music, you know, and it was really, really cool. So we're like, man, there's got to be a co op game out there where you can wrestle. And there wasn't. And then this game came out this year, and it's the first time in a long time where we've had a decent wrestling game co-op. And it's bugged in there. Oh, I thought this was oh, there. There's one element of the control scheme that I really like. They, I, this was set so you had to get rapid, but that is set so it's a timer. I hate that. Punch to the face, oh. There's my yeah. Now I can get the finisher. He's stunned, he's gonna get up, I'm gonna finish her, and he's gonna stun again. Unless he counters. No, he's still stunned the whole time. He's standing up stunned. Awesome. Kick in the face. Right in the post to the right. This side. Oh yeah, that's a quick match. What the hell? Son of a bitch. Ref. In the old Royal Rumble game, in that condition, back in the day, you can beat the ref up. You just have to get, somehow, get like yourself between, you gotta get the ref between you, right? And then you just throw a punch, you get that motherfucker. Yeah, like that. Oh. Hit him? I did hit the run. Son of a bitch. Oh, I blocked it. Son of a bitch. Yeah. guys doing no 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 I don't think that's a good idea no. oh, yes you can see how this is I don't have to rapidly press that I just hold the button I hate rapid pressing it's the dumbest mechanic I used to have an escapad when I was younger an escapad is like a super Nintendo controller but uh, it had like two modes. It had like full auto, where you could just press A and hold it, and it would just automatically, rapidly hit A for you. 
it had another mode where it was semi-automatic, but it would do like a burst fire. And then it had like basic mode, but it was like just regular. Yeah. Kick him in his ribs. Yeah. Now we're going to kick him in his head. Get up, don't count on me, and let me blast you in the face. Done for you. That's it. Yeah. I was watching somebody else's stream and they had like Here custom characters fighting, right? And I was so, so upset with the way that it went down. They had a guy named Satan who looked like Satan. You know, and they had Venom there and then they had Skeletor there. And they had this fat fucking dude. <laughs> who looked like Winnie the Pooh, and his name was Winnie the Pooh, right? And, uh, my, the games, the game sound, the game sound is still crazy like the game. That's because I'm a really loud person. You want me to turn my mic up? That's what you want me to do? You want me to turn the game down, or you want me to turn my mic down? I probably should turn my mic up because my music will come on real loud, right? Let me just go in here. I turned down my, I turned down my mic. I, I feel like I feel like it's gonna be loud now. Is that loud? Oh yeah, game is actually pretty loud. Yeah, let me turn that down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know how it got up so far, but it, it was up there quite a ways. Yeah. All right, what did I get? Four points? I get one point? One point. That's not enough. I need nine points. This is the extra credit one. I, I like this. I like this mission. It's really cool. It kind of surprised me. It caught me off guard when I got this last night. When the, when they threw me in with uh, Hulk Hogan. But they say like you get to choose who you want. You can go with Macho Man, Bret Hart. I'm like yeah, Hulk Hogan for sure. Like when I was a kid, he was amazing super like and then my uncle I had an uncle who had the mustache the blonde mustache and he was a bodybuilder so you look like him you know so it's just like I think he liked him too you know Hulkamania I tried to get him to rip his shirt one time and my uncle wouldn't do it <laughs> I'm sure he could have though he was, he was freaking ripped when he was in his 20s holy shit How's the audio now, girl? I need that feedback. And That's here good. we go. Look at how grainy it is now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 156 pounds. Quick draw. He wasn't an athlete per se, but after he endured the rigors of trying to break into mainstream Hollywood, he developed an athleticism yeah, perfect so you're for competing this guy in WWE. In your mind, right? And now <laughs> it's he's like, how he's would you not someone to be in your mind? Why would you? And then they actually say that. Like the writing is pretty good. I really like the way that the tweets go because it's like I feel like they would say that stuff, and the responses are good. It's very well written. I can't express that enough. I mean, there's so many bad things about the game, but there are so many good things, too. So much is broken, but there's so much that's right. Gentlemen, I got it set so it's, like, streamer while. safe. But, yeah, there I'd be playing his amazing one. music right now. The immortal. I feel and really bad that you're not listening from to From Venice Beach, California. And I love that they got the old WWE logo. It's so, so cool. 
So between WCW and WWE, I always wonder when I see something Hogan that kind of looks retro now, you know, like like Hulk's t-shirt design with the, not to mention he's a two-time WWE Hall of Famer and the biggest name uh, in the, the business WWE, in the you know. 80s and 90s. Back then, was that like was that like new or was that retro even back then? You know, like what is it? Anyway, yeah, I just love it. And SummerSlam '88 was slightly before my time watching him too, so it's, it was more his prime and less when I watched him. So I really love that too. I watched him in like the 90s and 89, you know, SummerSlam 89, I think was the first one I actually knew what was going on when I was a kid watching it. 90 was probably when I knew what was going on. 89 was just like, yeah, get him, yellow guy. <laughs> I don't understand why. I love that they have rip off his shirt, too. He did that every time. This is a big thing. Don't you know, Corey, Hogan feeds off the energy from the WWE Universe. It's going to power him through this match. So big in this, too. And by the way, what you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? That's pretty good, right? No, terrible. At least you and Hogan have the same hairline. <laughs> Speck was telling me that uh, there was some kind of a drama with Hulk, that he, that he had like a small penis or something. I, I can only imagine that it has to be from the... Uh, Gentlemen, steroids. you're looking at the largest steroids arms in the world and a force that the it, WWE up, up, but, I mean, like, has oh, never oh, produced oh, an equal to. Oh, you can't deny the impact steroids. of Hulkamania, but right now, Hogan's 24-inch pythons are meeting a unique challenge. Hogan wanted to be tested by the locker room, and he will be tonight. Yeah, but he's staring at someone who's shown a lot of hustle to be in this spot. Whether he's studying tape or spending extra time at the PC, he expected this challenge and is ready for Just it. Just love how little my guy is. <laughs> he's beating the shit out of him. so fucking funny. Yeah, it's... Oh, what a kick. Oh, no. What a counter by Hogan. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. What a punch. He's got him down. Is this it? Oh, shit. Getting the shoulder up before two. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Vicious right forearm. No. Damn it. Knew what was coming there. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Wow. Knee finds the abdomen. to the body and just getting started look at this brutality this is how you torture this your is a opponent. weird move i don't i don't understand what is going on here he's just like grabs his hand and pushes it back this is hard to watch. so weird it's like that hop over kick in the face Being shown to Hogan here. No. Hulkster has to find a way, find some energy. What are we about to see? Oh, knee right to the hands. Oh. Third. So then uh, I think it was number 89, SummerSlam 89, and fought like the, the Sheik. And Hogan gets stuck. Like, no, it was 90. Because it's double, double, double so oh, right Hey, it's Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> G.I. Joe. Oh, here we go. Only gets a hey. Still not enough to put him away. What's the guy doing? What the fuck is going on? Oh, head kick connects. That's <laughs> the knee. The Hulkster continues to survive. with punches and not oh a nasty stop to all right now it's uh finisher time kick him in the face wham yep 
There we go. Got him. He's all bloody on his face. Body's actually red. I'm the face is Finally comes to an end. All right, check my door to Ash. Summer Slam. Here is your winner, Quick Draw. You cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. Says my door dash to be here soon. Two of the biggest stars of all time in a handicap match. This blew my mind because it just it just throws these classic wrestling matches at you just out of nowhere, right? You're just like, holy shit, just right off the bat. Hulk Hogan. First you fight Shawn Michaels in in like today's age. And then you fight Yeah, now we're talking. Hulk Hogan, if you choose to. You could get, I could have gone with Macho Man. But. The following come. And then it has you fight these two. And you're just like, wow. I mean, how, how does it get much bigger than this? <laughs> this is like, to me, this is like the peak. And their opponents first from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the Rock! Well, here's a man who's captured the imagination of the entire sports entertainment industry, the Brahma Bull, one of the very best of all time. Without question, The Rock has been a champion at every level. Hey, Saxton, your role, know it. Your mouth, shut it. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> it is just such an incredible moment every time The Rock competes. Desire to be the best ever has been fulfilled. The Great One possesses amazing agility, power, and stamina. The uh, Brahma Bull looks set to run over the competition. I mean, you have here to practice tonight. standing on those ropes and putting your knees into it. This does it perfectly, right? The leader of the Attitude Era, the Rattlesnake. The biggest anti-hero in WWE history. And his partner from Victoria, Texas, weighing in I really at 252 it was pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. A multi-time world champion, former king of the ring, first three-time Royal Rumble winner. The Texas Rattlesnake is synonymous with truly epic main event brawls. And I think we're about to see another one of those main event brawls here tonight. Many believe Stone Cold is the greatest of all time. No, no one believes that. No one thinks he's... The greatest of all time. Oh shit, he's wearing a knee brace? Fuck. See, that's it's so authentic, right? Like, it, I mean, the knee brace? Like, they didn't have to do that, right? But it's the authenticity. This handicap match is underway, and I would not want to be the outnumbered superstar. Fortunately, this is tag team rules, so they only have to worry about one superstar at a time. Well, most of the time, at least. 
Rights and left, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Shot connects. Jumping knee strike. I like that. Oh, it got it. And it's The Rock with the reversal. Producing a trampling. They always do a Y right after that. It's always a counter. Strikes. Get it, they throw you into that. In the it's a counter right there. He's lost some of his win now. Knee right to the face. Discouraging situation for the people's champion. The millions are hoping the Rock can come back here. This is right for him. Oh, uh, what a clubby blow. Oh, uh, he didn't counter. Yes. Was mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. I don't know he's got. He switches it back around. He's gonna go. Oh, no, he Steve Austin and off the tag. Some problems here. Right, bad knee, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, fuck you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Austin has that one started. Oof, smacked by the back fist. Let me beat that knee up. Connects. Fuck Caught with a punch. Yeah. Jumping knee strike. Oh, like that. Get around to the side. Yeah. Fuck. He's absorbed some damage already. Oh, shot to the jaw. All right, let's do our super finisher here. Crosshairs. Stone Cold is in deep trouble. I shouldn't have done it right now. Should have knocked out Rock and then done it. Kicked you. Exactly. Oh, he punches me. Go. And the Rock is getting dismantled. I don't think I can do it now. I got the pin, but he's not stunned longer. Oh, jeez. Oh, Are you kidding? Instincts from Austin. Austin is going to look to press on the advantage. The rattlesnake got played around with for too long. Now he wants to open the camp. Got a cross from teeth. <laughs> oh, now he's yeah. stuck to finish it off. The kick will stop you in your tracks. Austin covers that one. Is having his way in this one now. No need to maintain that. Aggression. Oh, I messed up again. I did my finisher. Is there a way to back out of this? I don't think there is. Alright, well, that's fine. Up into the face Feast your eyes. Oh, yeah. That might be the final nail in the coffin. Shoulders down. Zone off. Oh, yeah. Over. Oh, Reeve, this is chaotic. Come on, right? Great counter. Rock finally finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Could be the time the Rock desperately needed. He's struggling a bit here. Still, this is about as good a position you can hope to be in this oh, what the hell? in a handicap match. And he's a step ahead of Austin. Oh, shit, finds it. Stone Cold in some serious trouble. Not a familiar situation for Austin. He reverses it. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Oh, you're yes. going to yeah, tag out? Oh no! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. That's bad. What a hot shot! It's all the way to the outside. One way up. You got oh. to be kidding me! Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Oh, what a drop kick. Oh. I oh, had that well scouted. Another reversal. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Into the barricade. Six. Oh, he knew what was coming. <laughs> I gotta get out of this. The rest Let me in the ring. Might be a count out. No, I gotta get back in the ring. No, no, you bastard. Let me in the ring. Let me in the ring. Let me in the ring. Oh my god. Oh, what the bullshit. 
Rolling elbow. Woo yeah. I lost this fight last night. I didn't do that. I believe Rock pinned me. Not a repeat fight. Short shooter. Sharp shooters in. Will they tap? I have no idea how. Sharp shooter. Got to shift their weight. And they're out. Right hand, Panthers with an insecurity crashing to the floor. The rattlesnake's being picked apart. Austin needs to mount some. Now offense. we're going to do the finisher. As long as Steve Longston right stays stunned, I got this match. The green one. Up into a torture rack. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Take any more oh, I think Austin's going to slide in and get it. And Damn it. The count. Lucky in. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Oh, foot just stopping him. I'm going to get him with the finisher, even though he's not the one who's supposed to be in here. Oh, no, they got me. No, no. This is bad. Oh, no. He's going to pin me, too. Oh, no. Oh, good. Oh, my God. Look at my, my stamina. It's so bad. No, stop. Stop the rock. And adrenaline right now. Somebody stop the rock. Reformulating his game plan. No, it was not enough to end this, so and I missed it. Oh, no. B. Sons of bitches. Striking down with the axe handle. And just like that, he said, crashing oh to the God. floor. No, I missed that one, too. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, got Austin back. Fucking piece of shit. Those mounted to punches. Not, oh, a nasty I got a plan for you. Oh, he retaliates. Three. Fighting back with a counter. Here we go. This is it. Up across the shoulders. He gets counted out. Okay, go, go, go. Right hand, what are we gonna see here? Uh oh, the rock has been busted. Yeah. Eight. Oh, strikes with a kick. Ooh, sharp kick. Devastating kick. Into the corner. This can't be good. Gets him with the counter. Here's the combo of strikes. Wow. The chops. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Can Austin weather this storm, guys? But you can never count. Yeah, he didn't counter it. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Stone Cold reverses. Austin is going to look to press on the advantage. The rattlesnake got no. played around with for too long. Okay. Now he wants it's to a fast one with Steve. It's a slow one with uh, Rob. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Strike. All right, we gotta change targets. We gotta knock you down. Hard right hand. What are we gonna see here? Uh oh. Yeah, That's you're stunned. All right, DDT. I gotta get up. I gotta use my finisher. Kick him in the face. Oh, Bang. All right. Get both down. Here we go. If the Rock just if he gets up, I'm screwed. All right. Yeah, I didn't win that match last night, but I got it today. Woo. Here is your winner, Quick Draw. All right, I think my, I think my, my uh, DoorDash is out there. This win is spreading like a wildfire. The electricity in this arena is almost palpable.
Yeah, so I, I have them delivered the sandwiches cold, and then I microwave them here instead of having them toast. And that way they're hot when I want them. It's not the same as toasting them, but it's still good. There we go, plus three. I think, I think that's still not enough, though. I think I need nine. Yeah. So I need five more. All right, so social media is where I talk to this dude at. Uh, I beat him, and so let me tell him. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, he didn't do that text last time. Oh my god. 1200 fans, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, that fucking backfired. Damn it. <laughs> Shit's hilarious. Okay, so that was different than last time. I didn't do that last time. I didn't actually win that match, so. Road dog wants a piece of me, I guess. Just so you know, I'm not cool with how you acted on your first day. Challenging Shawn Michaels might have worked out, but it isn't how we do things around here. So I'm not trying to be cute or anything, but you're in my doghouse. Let me save you some time. If you're looking for some kind of apology or for me to admit I was wrong, it's not going to happen. Fine. If I can't talk some sense into you, then maybe I can get through to you in the ring. Are you saying you want me in a match? Damn straight. You and me today, one on one. I don't know what you think you're going to accomplish, but I'm going to beat another Hall of Fame. Yeah, I can't grab my food. And if you ain't down with that, I got two words for you. Too bad. So the game is like really stingy on points until you get into a televised event. Once you're doing televised events, it's like 25 points, 19 points a match. And so you can just start really getting your stats up. But during this training section, like they don't, they're really stingy. <laughs> But as you can tell, being a striker and putting all the points in a striker is highly effective. He's got two finishers ready for me? That's bullshit. You can see the two X on his name. Oh no. Yeah, there we go. Oh crap. Yeah, so that's a fancy. Yeah, okay. Ow. Okay. One, two. No oh, shit. I believe the only match that I lost last time. It was just the match against Steve Austin and uh, um, Austin. Steve Austin and Steve Austin. Steve Austin and The Rock. Other than uh, Shawn Michaels beat me a couple times. But you can't actually lose him if you pick him
Here we go. Time to kick him in the face. Finish your time again. Oh, there we go. That was a good finisher. One, two, three. I love that tweet. That's one of my favorite. And the other really great thing about this tweet is that the way they scripted this, as time goes on, it gets more shares. <laughs>
Tengo una gran oportunidad para ti. That's Spanish for I got a big opportunity for you. Estoy interesado. Not bad, right, Pedro de Camino? Anyway, what's the oportunidad all about? WWE was contacted to send a PC student to El Mago's retirement show in Mexico. They actually requested Hector, but for some reason he doesn't want to do it. So if you're interested, we'll have a triple threat between you, Paragon, and Chase to decide who will go to face El Mago's son, El Mago Jr., at the event. Reservar mi vuelo, which means book my flight. I only looked up that one sentence, so I'll take your word for it. So unless I missed it, it just didn't explain why we're in a, a match. But I guess it's for whoever's going to fight in the Spanish, uh, in Mexico. Hector won't do it. One of these two will or I will. So it's a three-way match, I guess. I find these matches to be easier because uh, pretty much they just strategize who you're going to attack and they, they can't really do that because they do not very well. See a why We still haven't seen an opportunity counter. gonna let me do it twice, awesome. Finisher's coming in. Uh, 
This guy always reaches the ring. He's so big. One, two. Ah. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Uh. Jay down there, but uh, when he kind of like sunned himself, I was like, yeah, well, hell yeah, he falls my lap, I guess I'll do it. Certainly. Certainly, certainly. Now, this is kind of interesting. Good luck against El Mago Jr. in Mexico. I hope you beat him. That's the plan. I've been meaning to ask, why didn't you want to go? Yeah, um, just wasn't feeling it. It would have been a chance for you to compete in your home country. And you're probably a fan of El Mago, right? I was, but he wasn't a fan of me. That's all I can really say. Just go get the win over Mago Jr. Okay.
Okay, so I've won a few matches now. I want to try to exit the game and see if I can get it to load before I go any farther. I'm not actually spending my points real quick. Oh no, I'm not. It's only a okay. Change our move set. I don't want to do that. I want to leave the game. Maybe that's a problem with my rises. There's no way to safely just leave the fucking thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was saved or wasn't saved. We'll see what see what was. Okay, so I just left it. Now, if I want to go back into it, yeah, you can see I had forty-eight thousand fans on the other on the other character that I can't load. So, Road Dog and I were thinking, since apparently you want to stand out so much around here, that we should come up with some new ways to challenge you. What you have in mind? One of my favorites is what I'm calling show up or throw up. Basically, you have to do 500 squats oh, I lost this match and then wrestle time. chase without throwing up. Sounds easy enough. I'm in. Good.
So, you beat me on day one, albeit under questionable circumstances. But do you think you can take down two Hall of Famers in a tag match? Are the Bushwhackers in town? Funny. I mean, how about you team up with anyone here and face me in Road Dog? If beating you two helps me get more recognition, then I'll do it. All right. Figure out who you want to team with, and we'll see you in the ring. I already know who I want. Hector Flores. Two-fisted hit. I love that fucking wrestling. It's so funny. You ever try to hit someone with both your fists at once? Balled up like that. It's so fucking funny. The Zorn fight. Captain Kirk versus the Zorn. The two-fist hit. Road dog recovers. I have no idea what my character is doing. No, 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 no. I don't want to use my finisher yet. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, crap. I got my finisher up. We gotta knock this guy down. One more hit. There we go. 
I had this finish up for a while. Can't use it. Oh, I missed! Oh no. <coughs> I knew that was gonna be bad. I missed that one too. What the hell? Shawn Michaels is still technically stunned. Come on. Finisher ready. I guess I can get two finishers ready and then just wipe them both out.
go. I'm gonna try it. I know that Road Dog's getting up. Oh, he's a bloody mess, too. Okay, break! Rope break, damn it. Oh fuck. Road dog's up again. God damn it. Just use my finisher again. Kick him. Take it up. No, I'm not gonna hot tag. Fuck you. Oh no, I'm bleeding. Oh god damn. Oh shit. Yeah. I'm 
still unconscious, dude. I'm not hot tagging. Fuck you. I don't care. Why am I crawling over there? Stop crawling over there. Stop crawling over there. I pointed left. What the fuck? Come on, controls. What the shit? Where's my guy going? What the fuck is he doing? I literally don't have my hand on the controller. He's just crawling over there. All fucking bugged out and shit. What the fuck? Get up. Get up. You got two finishers. Get the fuck up. There we go. Shit, I can't believe I didn't fucking get that wide. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This looks so bad. One. Oh, I'm perfect. Oh. Oh. That was awesome. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, this is not perfect. Okay. Damn. Final hot tag. Alright. Let's just start with the fucking throw. Counter? Come on. Counter? Counter? Offer me a counter? God damn it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah just work the body and the face. Yeah, now you're stunned, you son of a bitch. Now you're a partner. Oh shit. I didn't get this far. Damn it. Damn, I'm gonna stun one and I can't stun the other one. Come on, come on. There you go. I need you to get knocked down. Get that stun me up. Yeah. And you, I need you to fucking get stunned. Let's get you through the rope stun. There we go. Bam. Yeah, there we go. Fuck you. Yep. And then you. Let's uh, let's. Oh shit. Let's do the finisher. And hope that uh, even though he's in the ring, he doesn't. Oh fuck, he's gonna get knocked down. God damn it. Alright, 
you. I gotta get you stunned. Let's grab you. Alright, cool. Alright, now it's your turn. Shit, counter me, you son of a bitch. Can you not counter me while I'm trying to fucking end this? Damn, he's gonna get unsunned, this guy's gonna be fucking damn it. I beat this before, I don't know what the hell I did. They are not coming out of the ring. Oh, I've got a whole bunch. Of, I got two of these fucking stacked up. They can fight out there, stun, not stun, whatever the fuck. Got this. Oh shit. Hell no. Fuck you. Now I'll try this again. Oh, your buddy's still stunned. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Get knocked down, bitch. Ah. Now, up and over, not on your fucking face. Damn. All right, now, pin. Fuck. Where's Road Dog? I hope he's stunned. One, two, three. Oh Jesus! Oh, Jesus. At least my partner started beating the shit out of the guy at the end.
I cut you a break on your first day, but Todd in security said you're still not following protocol, sneaking into off-limits areas, undermining his authority, and worst of all, getting your social media followers to mess with him. Not cool. Short work of Hector. This should be the pin. Big guy. I was in a bit of a philosophical mood last night, and I started to wonder if you never have a chance. Shocked you're not out with a head injury after thinking that hard. But please. I guess I was thinking about how... I don't think you have to worry. Really? Deal. I look forward to... Fatal Four, first set to finish her.
shit. Oh, fuck. He down there doing his finish. Chase has his up now. I have to hit my Y. Oh no, I missed it. He's doing his finisher on me. No, fuck you. Oh my god. Fuck you, Chase, you piece of shit. Bullshit. He countered my finisher. Hey, rookie. Uh, turns out I have to go back to Japan to finish up. Don't know how easy it will be for you, but... Not so fast. Obviously, this is a huge up. I have to fight a triple threat. Kick this guy's ass in Japan. What? Fuck you, Flores. Oh shit. I'm about to get by, by a fucking chair. <laughs> there we 
we go. One, two, three. You just let's stood there and let me win. That's awesome. Thanks, Hector. You're a good friend. Please don't try to say Super fast. Holy fast.
13 points. Lost his own farewell match. Yeah. Expecting snap here. What the fuck? Oh shit. Hey, if you consider a good for you as amazing, do you think you're too on? Okay, fine. Now that's a role I can commit to. FYI. I will be eating several bowls of very filling, chunky soup during the shoot. Jesus. Give me some I told my ear to get back in, I guess.
here we go. This match is over. If you're really going to stick with this better than everyone act, you need to be able to back it up. That being said, we've got an indie wrestler with a PC. Cole Quinn. I gotta keep uh, I gotta keep down for ten seconds, I believe, if I remember right. Which isn't too hard to do, you just kinda stun him. Stun him outside the ring, I think, maybe. Oh shit. Funny when it's a bigger guy, I guess. I like that move when he does it. Son of a bitch. What the fuck?
Seven! Eight! This is it. He's got no energy, and I'm gonna do the finisher. And kick him in the head. Clap. Whoa. If that doesn't work, I'll do that fucking thing again. Two! I remember at art class one time when I was in school, my buddy Ben and I made a wrestling ring. It's a black one, you know, with the red underline, the WW with the red underline, like the performance center symbol has. How many points do I need? I have 13. Oh, I do have enough. Oh, no, I don't. I need 13. I have a lot. There's one more match here before I face Shawn Michaels and move on to Raw. But I think I might have to exit and take a nap. Well, you still and see your thieves. <laughs> Thanks for viewing. I hope you liked it. Catching up with my, uh, uh, my whatever. My other, my other character. Since it fucking aired out.